Yeah, as promised, a tutorial. Hi guys, uh, I'm Ghost. Uh, some people know me as Martin. Um, I am a YouTuber uh, in the vaping world. Uh, I'm known as uh, Ghost Vapor uh, Coil Artist. Uh, I have another channel which we link uh, to this channel. Uh, I just created this channel right here for Shibari, uh, for you guys who want to learn about it, who want to see my shoots, uh, want to see how I do my things, my projects, uh, and most of all, how I do this lovely Cat09 tail. Um, I had a lot of requests for how to make it. I couldn't find any online, that's why I'm making one for you guys, all right? It's very easy to make, it's going to be made under 10 minutes, uh, you need 30 foot of uh, rope, very important, uh, I'll say 25 foot but it's good to have 30 just in case, uh, you select a different length, like this one, they're all different length uh, strands, alright, this is a Cat09 tail. The difference between a cattle nine tail and a floggers, a floggers, uh, it's the amount of strands. A floggers will have more or less than nine strand. A uh, cattle nine tail, you will see some image appear. Uh, dates from the 1600s. Uh, it was used in jail or for prisoners uh, to torture them, all right, to inflict pain, and especially this one, the way it was made with the knots and stuff like that, all right. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by multiple strand. Right here, that's a multiple strand. There's 18 strands on this one, all right. Uh, they are much longer. Uh, pretty much the length of a real Cat09 tail should be about that long but I like them handy and short like this hey, they, they work well um, in that case here you will see through the video uh, how I make this and how this one is made because there's a little difference between this and this so I hope you guys enjoy, watch this, make sure to like, subscribe and uh, share to make this channel worth making videos for it. Alright guys, so uh, check it out. See you in a moment. Alright guys, we're back. So today I'm gonna do uh, this one with uh, this rope here, which is a cotton, nice, lovely cotton rope. I got two time uh, 15 foot long so we will start by taking this uh, I got secured these just so they don't uh, unravel on me so what I'm gonna do is select the length I want to make this all right so let's say about about this right here so now I'm gonna put it like this the bites in my fingers right here and I'm gonna keep on going, all right? I'm gonna put the bite there. I'm gonna bring those link, the same link as those. And I will keep on going one more time. All right, this. Once you have it, on this you got eight strand, right? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm always gonna make sure I keep the bites on top, all right? This I'm gonna let hang for now. I'm gonna hold on to this, then I'm gonna take my other piece of Rope. And 
and I'm gonna add a ninth strand to it. All right. So now it comes on top here. So I'm gonna make a loop just like the other bites here. And with that part here, all right, this part, what I usually do, hmm, I forgot to bring this. Oh no, I got a piece right here. With those bites, what I usually do, I take another piece of rope. I'm gonna take this one instead. What I do is I take another piece of rope and I just secure the bite on top here to make sure they stay there as I'm working on it. All right. All right, so now we got this here. So let's make the handles and try to keep those as straight as possible under the handles. I'm gonna select where I want my handle to be, about here. So now, what I'm gonna do, on this one, since I had to add a nine strand, I have one piece left, all right? And sometimes you can, uh, can keep on going and adding strand and have two and the handle will be made with totally separate uh, piece of, uh, of uh, rope. But on this, in this case, I only have one. What I'll do is I'll keep this and I'll bring it under and I'm gonna make sure this here stays real tight. All right. The first one gotta stay real tight. All right. Then you change direction right away. And you bring it through this loop as it stays tight you try to keep it tight especially to start to start it's tricky a little bit because you have nothing tight yet so I'm gonna retight this hold on to it and then make sure this is nice and tight and I'm gonna tight this one. You will see some rope work better than others because they're more slippery, like jute work perfect. So now I'm doing this, and this one is a pretty loose still, so I'm gonna tight it with the other one. So now I got this right here, all right, which is tight. All right, so now I'm gonna change direction once again. I'm gonna go this way and once again go under getting near the end as you can see guys so you make sure 
still have a nice hole in there and you can go as far as you can go but the last one make sure they're a little tighter Now I got a nice grip and we're at the hand here. So now you can remove this and you got a hole. This is gonna be a little tricky, it always is. Now you're gonna go the direction where you change direction and you're gonna bring this rope through it but you're not gonna pass it fully through it you're gonna go after just like I'm doing at the moment right I'm gonna go to all these five piece of bite just like this right here right you're gonna give yourself uh, the length that you want to have your uh, your wrist, uh, you know, how you could you, you, your your wrist guard or uh, anyway this part, <laughs> all right. So I want it about this length. That is perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten this, and as I'm gonna do this, first I'm gonna make sure that this part here that I just brought, it's nice and tight, all right? And after this, pull on nose. One at a time. And you're gonna see them tight right there, all right? Which you're gonna secure this on top. See, try to place them before you tighten them super tight. That way it's nice. Tighter they are, the more secure it's gonna be. Alright, now I can feel them really hard on top. Alright, so this one, this one. I don't know which one is it. Gotta pull on them one at a time. nice tight and secure right so now I'm left with this here just gonna pull on it if I can because this is really tight you gotta take, take it and make a little knot here the point so now all you gotta do is let me find my little scissors now you can cut this here that's what you got left of a rope and down here all you gotta do is 
make sure they're nice and stretch cut those and before they go all nutty on you do a knot And it's up to you to make them all finish flush same length or to make them uh, all uneven with knots at the different spots to make it uh, more surface one I'm making right now I think I'm gonna make it I go for the uneven look right, this now those two big one here cut them about here So yeah, it's not as hard as this. And now to make it nice, I'm just gonna make those end pretty much the same. So, little haircut to make it look nice and pretty. So yeah, here you have it guys. So, how easy was it? So there you have it guys. Uh, request, requested, and if I can make it, I'll show you how to make it. All right, so here you have it. This is a cattle nine tail made out of rope. Um, it was pretty easy and feel free to make it the color you want. Uh, like I said earlier, um, if you wanted to make it multiple strands like this, uh, you just keep on adding them. And if you don't have a one left like this, just like I did on this beautiful one, I took another one, another piece of a rope and I just started with two. Right here with the bite through it, you go like switch direction each time up to the end. And uh, as you can see this part here, I had two pieces of a rope coming out like this. So what I did, I took uh, some smaller rope, pink rope that I got here and I made the same pattern as here but all over this to make it one big and nice uh, big part and as 
for the end if you want to make these maybe sometime I'll show you how to make these in another tutorial but I think there's plenty of tutorial to show you how to make this online uh, the reason why I made a tutorial for this is because there's I haven't found any any tutorial to show you how to make these so there you have it guys all right cattle nine tail floggers made out of rope pretty pretty easy feel free to try it and most of all subscribe like comment and please share this channel is a brand new channel I just made for you guys uh, since I got a lot of requests on social media uh, so now it's up so it's up to you guys to uh, make it grow so if you want some more make sure to subscribe like share whatever you want but please do something all right so we'll see you on the next video guys peace and be safe